Hello everybody and welcome to I Speak Organized. In this video, I'm gonna be walking you through setting up a very basic paper management system for all of the important documents that you store at home. I'm gonna be talking about different storage solutions and some tips that I provide to all of my clients when I'm working on setting up paper management systems for them. So if this is something that you've never done before or you're just looking for some suggestions to improve on your current system, then stick with me and let's get into it. My name is Melanie and I'm your professional organizer and productivity consultant. What does that even mean? don't know me, my name is Melanie and I'm your professional organizer and productivity consultant. I help hardworking families and professionals find form in their space and purpose for every phase of life. And if you are into all things home organizing and productivity practices, as well as motivation techniques and decluttering ideas and tips and tricks, all that fun stuff, then you should consider subscribing to my channel. I make new videos every week on all of that and I would love to have you become a member of the speaker fam. All you have to do is hit the little circle icon of my face at the end of the video and that will make you an official member. And I would be honored to have you on board. Oh my God, it's that time of day where the sun is going down and it just, I picked a spot to film where it's just it's shining right into my eyes. Sorry if I look a little weird sometimes, like I have a weird expression on my face, but that, that would be why. Okay, first up is this guy. This is your basic file box and I like this one, it's from Target. It's also exceptionally girly, which is exactly the way I like it, but it is no less functional. And this is a really good thing to have if you're just getting started on creating a home filing system. And it's also a really good solution if you have a bunch of extensive medical records for a member of your family that need to be consolidated, or if you have extensive tax records that you wanna keep all in one place, having a file box like this is a great solution. Now, if you are somebody who is self-employed or you work from home and you have more of, a, more of a need for a larger filing system, I usually suggest looking for a lateral filing cabinet. You'll find that they have a more like homey feel to them with a wood finish rather than the tall stacking metal filing cabinets that you would find in a workplace. Search it on Google, you'll find tons of ideas and of course I will link my favorite options in the description box below. So if you're in the market for one of those, definitely go down to the description area and click on the links and that will take you to some really nice options. So I'm gonna walk you through the very basic categories that I like to see when I'm setting up a home filing system and I'll I'll talk you through the things that I have set up in this box. So you open it up, you'll see it has a deceptively large storage capacity. That doesn't necessarily mean that you should fill up every slot. Usually what I do when I'm working with a client is I will sit and make a list with them of all of the important categories that we're going to create for each box. And so let's say they have seven categories. I wanna to try to find a box that maybe has 10 to 20 slots in it so that they're able to grow into it as their needs accumulate. Any records that you need of things that, you, that are in your possession or you own, passport renewal information, birth records, including social security, important medical records, marriage license, business license, so, those are the kind of basic four to five, maybe six categories that you wanna start with, and then you can sort of branch out from there as your needs increase. I wanna to talk to you about these. These are these sort of clear mesh pouches, and I buy them in bulk, uh, and I use them for everything from toy storage and game storage to paper management. So I'll show you, it just fits super easily. You take it out and go. These are great if you have little tiny bits of paper and receipts and things. Nothing's gonna get lost in 
transit, if you have to take these somewhere, you will definitely love investing in these guys. Another great option is one of these very super simple, classic accordion style organizers. It has the elastic clasp there. It opens up and you have all of these poly divided sections. And I also like to label each section. And this one I use specifically for taxes. Um, it's, it's really great to keep your taxes separate just because if you are in the process of buying a home or something along those lines, you need to have all of your tax records on hand when you're going through the process of filling out the paperwork for your loans and things like that. So I like to keep these separate. And one thing that's really important to note about labeling your sections is you need to be consistent with whether you're keeping the files in front of the tab or behind the tab. And what I tell my clients is there's really no right or wrong answer. It's really just comes down to preference. So as long as you're consistent, it doesn't matter. Just make sure that every single collection of files either goes, all of them go in front of the tab or all of them go behind so that you're not miscategorizing or misfiling in the wrong section. These accordion style organizers come in all different sizes and I also have one in the teeny weeny size that I use for filing all of my business receipts so that I can keep track of my expenses for tax season. Uh, and I, the same thing applies here. These are separated into month, which is fine, but you can also, you know, categorize them however you want. And again, just make sure that you're consistent with whether you're filing your receipts and your checks in front of the tab or behind so that when you go to pull out your September receipts, they're not going to be mixed in with your August or your October. And I like to have these small ones too, just because I feel like my receipts and my business cards and my checks don't slide around as much and I am less likely to lose really important expense information that way. Now let's talk about a basic mail filing system. And this is like the bane of everybody's existence. In my experience working with my clients, um, it's, it's just one of those things. But I always recommend to people that you open your mail every single day or at least you know like a couple times a week because otherwise it's just one of those things that gets out of control really quickly and becomes extremely overwhelming very very fast and i want you to just make it a habit you know whatever the time frame is that makes the most sense to you that fits into your schedule and your lifestyle the best try to be consistent and work through your mail on a regular basis so typically doing it every day it takes less than two minutes once you kind of get in the habit of the categories that you create and this is what i usually suggest so get yourself a, a couple of these stacking letter trays and i i recommend doing the stacking ones because having them sit side by side like this takes up a lot of real estate in your space you know your family command center or your your table or your uh, you know countertop whatever it is wherever you put this try to reduce the footprint a little bit use your vertical space and get yourself a stacking letter tray and usually I suggest doing mail in on the bottom and then mail out on the top just to make it easy but again that's up to you purely preference and uh, that's just how I do it so when you get your mail in you have some simple categories things like um, so you would do you know a recycling pile for your junk mail you would do a shred pile for identity protection purposes you would do a bills pile or um, appointments pile you know things like that just make sure that you're creating very broad categories that make sense for uh, the majority of the mail that you're getting on a regular basis so that you know exactly where to put it now one of the things that I add to my stacking letter trays is a little system like this and I have it labeled for unopened mail on the top, outgoing mail, and then it needs immediate attention. So that's kind of another way that you can do it. You can put your mail in the top and then kind of work it down as, uh, as you go through the filing process. So all right. So the last thing that I want to share with you is this guy. 
and it would not be an Ice Peak organized video if I didn't have a crazy over the top product review for you and this is it. So this I guess would be considered to be a bug out bag and I use it for safe document transport in an emergency situation. It is fire resistant and it's water resistant. And we live in the Pacific Northwest where we're subject to wildfire season. I've explained this in past videos. And this past summer, we were in an emergency evacuation situation and we were caught pretty unprepared. So I wanted to make sure that we had something that I could you know, stick the entire file box in and my laptop and any clothing and food, water, that type of thing uh, to be able to fit in something that was efficient but spacious and this is definitely that it's quite tall it's got back straps on it so you wear it as a backpack and it has a wet bag inside that comes out and expands you can use this separately i think you have the ability to clip this on to another pack i think you can use it if you're camping or something along those lines um, or you can just leave it inside as a compartment inside of this bag. The outer material is, uh, it has fiberglass fiber in it, so that is what makes it fire resistant. And it's really spacious and roomy, and it's got tons of other little pockets in here for your tablets and your laptops and your phones and what have you, and it gives me the peace of mind that I need if I am gonna be in an emergency situation and I need to grab my important documents that are really hard to replace. I can just stick them in here and know that they're safe as we evacuate or do whatever it is that we need to do. So I will link this in the description box below so that you can pick up one yourself if you are in need of one of these. I really like it, so. There you go, there's your crazy over the top product review from I Speak Organized, not sponsored by whatever company this is. I can't pronounce it. All right, my friends, we're gonna wrap it up. Thank you so much for sticking around with me and I really hope that you found these tips helpful if you're setting up your own home filing system. Now, if there's any other information that you need or you have questions, go ahead and drop them in the comments below and I'm happy to help. And I will see you guys in the next video. And if you got value out of this, would you do me a favor and please hit the like button and consider subscribing to this channel so that you never miss another opportunity to learn something new about home organizing and productivity practices. I will see you guys next time. Have an awesome day. Bye.